Hi everybody. So in today's video, we are going to start by going over review topic number one, which is about identifying intervals on a graph. So we are going to review some of the different special intervals or sections of a graph that you might be asked to find. When we are asked to look for special intervals or sections of a graph, we use this, we use something called interval notation. And again, this is when we're describing sections of a graph. So it's not just one point, it's an entire section. When we do this, our interval notation is going to look like this. You'll notice that interval notation starts with a bracket. And the first number is always going to be the lower number. And the second number inside here is always going to be the higher number. So let's take a look at some of the other vocabulary words that we could use to describe different intervals. The first vocabulary word that we often use when we're describing intervals on a graph is the word increasing. The increasing sections of a graph are the sections that are going uphill when you travel from left to right. So we're looking for sections that are going uphill. On this graph, the sections that would be going uphill are this section right here, as well as this section right here, which sort of starts off as a straight line and then transitions to a curvy part of the graph. Now, when we name these intervals, we're going to look at where these sections start and stop. This first section starts where x is negative 3. Make my line a little bit thicker here. This first section starts where x is negative 3, and it ends where x is negative 1. So the first interval that I would write down would be bracket negative 3 comma negative 1. Now the next section that's going uphill starts from the positive 3 and ends at the positive 7. So the second interval that is increasing would be bracket 3 comma 7. And when we have more than one interval, we usually put a little U in between to stand for union, which means these two intervals get together are both increasing. They're unioned. Now, decreasing intervals are the sections of a graph that are going downhill when you look from left to right. So these would be the sections that are going downhill. On this graph, the sections that are going downhill would be this first section, which again starts off as a straight line and sort of changes to a curve, and then this last section, which is all curvy. If I wanted to name those intervals, the first section starts from where x is negative 7 and ends right here at the bottom of this hill, which is the same place where the increasing section started, which is when x is negative 3. So my first interval would be from negative 7 to negative 3, so I would write bracket negative 7 comma negative 3. The second section starts right where the increasing section leaves off, which is at positive 7, and ends at 9. So I would put bracket 7, 9, and in between I would put union, which stands for put these two intervals together. The last special type of section that kind of goes in this category is what's called constant. Now constant means that when I look at this interval, it looks like it's flat when you go from left to right. So it literally looks like a flat section of the graph. It's not going uphill, it's not going downhill. In this case, that interval would be right here in the middle. And so if I wanted to name that interval, it would start from negative one and it would end at positive 3. And so I would say bracket negative 1 comma 3 bracket. So that's sort of how we describe sections of the graph. Another type of interval I might ask you to name is something called domain. 
Now, when we're looking at the domain of a graph, when we look at this, we're looking at the x values that are used on the graph. And since on a graph x goes from left to right, I like to think about this as the walls of the graph. If I had to put a wall on the left and a wall on the right to catch the entire graph in between, where would those walls have to go? So if I look at this graph, the farthest to the left that this graph goes is right here and the farthest to the right that this graph goes is right here. So the numbers would be negative seven to nine. If I go ahead and write that down, my answer here for my domain would be bracket negative seven comma nine. Now, one other word that kind of goes with domain is the word range. On a graph, the range describes the y values. And since y values go up and down on a graph, I like to think about this as being like the floor and the ceiling of the graph. So this would be the lowest to the highest spot. If you had to draw the floor and the ceiling and catch the entire graph in between, where would they need to go? On this graph, the lowest the graph goes is right here at negative six, and the highest the graph goes is right here at positive four. So I would write for my answer here, bracket negative six comma four. Now one thing I should note is that when we're naming the range, it is the only time we use y values in our answer. Every other time we name an interval, we're looking at x values on the graph to name the interval. The range is the only time we use y values. All right, that is your brief review of how we identify different sections or intervals on a graph. Thank you so much for watching, and the next thing you're going to do is try some practice problems to practice these ideas.